way better. Oh, we did 1.9 million on that guy. Very nice. Okay. Take all these guys out. All right. This guy is pretty legit. 836,000 and almost 1.9 million when we do the die. What's going on guys, TPF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved. We're jumping back into the Pugnacia Parados Ragnarok server. Really excited to jump in today. We're going to get some things going right away. So we do have a little bit of breeding going. i got some Feather Lights breeding over here. We've got the Guardians and some the Fiomias and everything growing up on this side. And we've got everything else going pretty good. We gave out names uh, yesterday in a video and then I ended up, I don't know if I actually did finish the video or not. So hopefully I got all those names done. And we're finally putting some dino trackers on some of our favorite guys. So everything's going really well, actually. We're going to go out and hopefully tame us up something new. We did get this guy, and I really want to try him out. And I don't know if this was included in the video with Otto and Teru when we were out adventuring. This was kind of an accidental tame. So I'm going to wait until we get another one uh, with you guys or until I go back and check the video and make sure we got it with you guys. But this frozen griffin is absolutely cool. It's got a really cool effect that comes off of it. You guys can see it kind of coming off the edges there. It just looks really cool. Uh, really excited to kind of try this guy out. Uh, but we'll wait, like I said, until I get ourselves a couple more things. We've got an organization going a little bit. I do want to expand to the other islands, but I can't really do that until I get another. I, we could probably not use a tech shield over there. I think we can move out that way without it. Uh, we did check the waters around here, like people suggested, for silica pearls. And there were quite a few down there, so thank you for that suggestion. Uh, they are like just literally like a little bit that way, a little ways that way, and a little ways that way. And there's silica pearls. None, none like immediately next to us. None like right outside of here. But just a little bit of ways each side. And as it goes a little bit deeper, there was quite a few. So that was a huge, huge help. Uh, we did get the conflagrant bear. Uh, where is he at here? Somewhere is a conflagrant bear. Oh, that's right. We picked him up. I forgot we picked him up because he was stomping all over the place. Uh, let's see. We got this one from Taru. This was a gift from Taru. The Noctis Dire Bear. And then this was one that we got just randomly. I don't even remember where, actually. But the Conflagrant Dire Bear. Really cool. Oh, why is its flame not going? Usually it's got a flame going. But you got to pretty much go on here and able wander. And as it wanders, it's going to eventually make honey inside of there, which is really, really cool. The Noctis Dire Bear. Whoa. What's up with those eyes, man? <laughs> how much caffeine did you take today look at this guy he is wide awake that dude is looking into your soul wow i feel like i, I feel like he's watching me whichever way i go look at that he is <laughs> that's wild anyways all right so we got a couple things we want to go do today there was another name that someone gave for one of the spinos uh, named Riot, and I think that was from Nature Guy. I'd have to go look at the comments again, but uh, I think it's a really cool name, but I need a Spino for the name. We're going to do it backwards this time. We're going to go look for a Wicked Spino. So I know that they are usually in the little water area right next to Otto's base. So that's what we're going to do is go over there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to leave our Equus here. Oh, what is that? I heard some... Oh, that might be the Spinos actually growing up inside of there. Let's take our favorite dire wolf. Uh, if you guys can give me a name for this guy, I appreciate it. We'll, we'll get that name on there as soon as I see the name in the comments. Uh, as you guys know, we're about four videos ahead in terms of the way that we're recording versus the way that we're uh, releasing the videos. So if you see this video, this is going to be four or five days after I recorded it. So we're always a little bit ahead, just trying to stay ahead as we're getting a little bit crazy into some of the stuff we're doing. A primal argent, that'd be really cool. I definitely want to mess with some of these guys. I think we're going to go for some abandoned guys. So I think the plan right now... I was make sure I had no sound for a second there. It got really quiet. Oh, what is that? There's some kind of bullets or something going on down there. All right, so we're going to look for this Spino. There usually is one down in this general area. And then we can use that Spino to go knock out a abandoned dino. So that's what we're going to look for today is some abandoned guys. Megatherium. What do we got over here? That is a adolescent conflagrant spino. Huh. There's been a lot of adolescents on this map. I didn't realize that was something that this mod, this mod actually did. Prodigious Akatina. All right, let's get this level off there so I can see our grid. All right, melee. Oh, no, no, no. We didn't want to do melee. My fault. We do want to do health. There we go. All right. I'm hoping that it's just right here in this general area, but it might not be. We might stop by Autos real quick and look for one. What is that? A primal spino? That dude looks amazing. All right. 
What is this guy? Oh, legendary. Nope, we're not going to fight you. We could probably take him. This this Guardian Direwolf is pretty amazing. This is a surprisingly awesome dino. Uh, but we're going to stay focused. We want this wicked Spino if we can find him. Is that him? Another Primal. Alright. What is that guy? Primal. That little island looks rough. Oh, that's, oh okay. we're right across from Autos. Otto picked one of the craziest spots on the map to do his base. We decided to go a little safer and get way out there, away from everything. Oh, check it out. It's a boss. 30 million health. I think we could take it with our Giga, but we're not going to risk it just yet. I think that is so cool, though. All right, guys. This is the only one that I've been able to find. Usually, they're all over the place, but this is a 504. Not a great level, but I think I can knock it out with this guy. Shouldn't be too much of an issue, right? 58%. There we go. Let's not get hit because I don't want the screen to be all green forever. 174. There he is out. There you go. Super easy. Super easy. Our guardian is amazing. I love this guy. This is my favorite dino so far this season. All right. Let's eat that guy. All right. He needs exceptional. I'm sure I didn't bring metal because why would I think ahead? Um, I don't know if there's... Oh, what is this? Oh, just a regular RG. That, look at the colors on this guy. You are awesome looking. <laughs> Not awesome enough to tame or to mess with, but... All right, let's go this way. Let's see if we got some metal. Usually there's some metal in these little hills or on the islands, maybe. Here we go. Is that metal? There we go. Perfect. Oh, what is that guy? Prodigious Hyenodon. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> okay, we're not taming him. One hit and he's done. All right. Oh, what is that? Is that just a regular Rex or is that something special? Nope, regular Rex. All right, go like that. There we go. Now we got enough metal. We'll get this wicked Spino going and then we'll take him and go get ourselves... Uh oh All kinds of things spawning on the island. But we'll, we'll take this and go use it over there. To help us get some of the abandoned guys. That's what we're going to go look for. Alright, there we go. And now we, the reason why we want to do an abandoned guy is we want to get one of those and see if we can... Oh, no. Turn around. Got it. Okay. But we want to get one of these abandoned guys so we can use them to do an evolution. There's a abandoned to ruthless evolution. So that's what we're hoping to get. It's probably nothing near that. Most of the last few videos, we've said what we want to get and we've got nothing near that. So we'll see what happens. All right, we need a famine, and we need, I already forgot which kind, the exceptional kibble. All right, exceptional kibble. There we go. And I know uh, previously someone did tell us to press the Q button so the tags come up. There's, I like having that sometimes, but there's sometimes it just feels too cluttered for me, so I usually shut that off, but it is really helpful. Thank you for that. All right, there we go. Did I not do the famine? Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, man. Guy is really close. Do they not get aggressive? I'm okay with him not attacking, but dang. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's go back and get this guy a saddle. Oh, what level is that guy? A 532 Wicked Poison. We don't really need another Wicked Poison. Auto hooked us up with another Wicked Wyvern just recently. And it is like max level. Uh, level 1008 tamed out. So really, really amazing level. All right, but let's hurry and get back to base. In fact, let's go ahead and teleport back. All right, let's see him. Yeah, look at that guy. Looking amazing. Like that. So this one does stand up. It does do the swipe. The Conflagrant guy does not. So I'm glad this guy does. All right, does the left click. C button does like the growl. All right. Okay. Oh, that looks awesome. I need a screenshot of that. There you go. There we go. Hopefully I got it. <laughs> Let's go see what this guy is doing torpor wise. We'll get some levels on this guy. Let's go ahead and throw a level up potion over. Alright, let's do it. There you go. This would be a good first test. What are you? 476 with 44,000. Should definitely do more torpor than that, right? 
Okay, so we do about 38,000 Torpor. Not a lot. Okay. There we go. There you are. Oh, dang. A terrestrial Bronto. Really? Let's get it. There we go. Exceptional kibble times 18. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Dumb little terror bird. Stop. Stop, terror bird. All right, that's it. Let's do this. Hold on. Come on. Turn, turn. There we go. All right, we're going to wake this guy up and knock him out again. That was a bummer. Let's go like this. Put one of these on him. There we go. All right, and go back to sleep. There we go. <laughs> so Terrestrial Bronto, I'm told, gives some kind of boss buff. Is this part... I don't know if this is Pugnacia or Parados. Let me see. All right, let's go like that. Terrestrial. Here we go. Terrestrial. Bronto. Provide an AoE damage buff to all nearby dinos. That is cool. So for that, we need 16. No, 18. Kibble. All right. Exceptional. I can make, I can make it. Wow, we actually have it. Okay, cool. Let's get all that. Make one famine. All right, let's go do it. Hopefully nothing attack us just for a second. Oh, and, and that's a good elephant right there. We're going to get that too. Let's get both. So let's go the kibble, the paste, and let's go knock out this elephant real quick. Come here, elephant. Nice, man. That is a max level Bronto. Very cool. There we go. And this one wants nine superior kibble. That's pretty expensive. We'll, we'll do it if we have it. Let's see. Superior. All right. Nine of these. No, nine. And then the famine. There we go. Take that and eat all those. All right. Awesome. Let's wait on these two guys. 83% and already 46 it's a lot of feedings. We'll get 100% effectiveness out of this. Nice. All right, this one's not a great level, but it's got really cool colors. So we're going to go ahead and knock this guy out too. Let's go like that. Kind of watch. Oh, God. Yep. Fight him, please. There you go. Did I miss? Oh, we just got some delay. Okay. All right. Let's make some more superior kibble. Come on. One more. Superior. There we go. All right. We'll throw this on. All right. There we go. That gives us two of the Arcas. That way we are Acras. Arca. However you say this guy. Uh, still not what we're looking for today. We're still looking for something kind of cool and no luck yet. All right. We finally found a couple abandoned griffins over here. This one's an 812. I think this is the highest one I've seen so far. I definitely want this guy. Let's try and get this guy real quick. Let's see if we can make him mad. Come on, turn, turn. There we go. How much Torbor does he have? All right. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We got it. Here, let's slap. Slap him. Slap him to sleep. There you go. 230, 260, 300. Just don't let him fly away. Oh, man. Don't die. Yes, yes, got him. Okay, I need extraordinary kibble. Hopefully, I still have that on me. We did stop by base. Hopefully, it didn't pull my stuff. No, we're good. All right. Extra. All right. Extraordinary kibble. It was just four, right? Yep. Okay. Let's get this guy real quick. Be really careful. This is kind of what we wanted to get today was one of the abandons. So, I'm glad we actually got it. That's really cool. So, let's go like that. Let's get a famine paste. There you go. Bam. We can go ahead and send you back. Let's go ahead and send you back to the oasis. And let's get the griffin. Hopefully it happens quickly because we're out here solo now. What's up here? Dung beetle. we got to be really careful because there are a whole bunch of brood mothers in the area for some reason. Oh, man. Why are you not eating yet? Let's do this, man. Come on. Let's be ready to run just in case. But what we want to do is go ahead and get this guy. Oh, come on. 
We're going to get this guy leveled up, and then we're going to evolve it to the next step for these guys. So that's the plan today. Uh, hopefully it's going to work out, but come on. Let's go. Come on. There we go, 28%. There we go. Abandoned Griffin is up. All right. Let's kind of test this guy out. He's not going to be real fast. These guys aren't like super over overpowered speed-wise to start with, but they do level up really quickly. Uh, so we're level 12, 17. Health is starting at 2,000, or two, I'm sorry, 271,500. Melee, 1,280. Movement speed, 136. Weight, 11,000, right? Yep, 11,000. Definitely not too bad. Uh, we do have a dive attack. Okay. Oh, hold on. Be careful. Oh, no, 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 no. What is that? Hold on. I couldn't even see what it was. Oh, it was a wicked Archaeopteryx. Very cool. All right, wait for that to go away. All right, nice, nice. Not too bad. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go XP potion. Let's go ahead and throw a whole bunch into melee. Get us started with that. A little bit of health. Whole bunch more melee. All right, that'll get us going a little bit faster here. All right. Oh, that's a really good level. Don't kill that guy. We might come back for him. All right. So now we're doing twenty-three thousand. That's pretty good. Oh wow, a Noctis bulb dog. I've not seen one of these. Uh, okay. Hold on. Let's bring our stuff back. Okay, you stay right there. It's really dark in here. Let's get our Spino back. Oh, no, my bad. Here, you go back to autos. My bad. Uh, let's see, auto. Bring our guy out here. There you go. <laughs> that was a silly mistake. Okay, let's put you on passive. Is he going to run or is he going to attack? I'm not really sure. Oh, come on, dude. Unstuck. There we go. What's he sitting at? 66, 100, 183, 67, 200, 230. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, he's down. Perfect. Okay. Need some more extraordinary kibble. Nice, man. I've not seen these guys. This is cool. All right. Let's go extra. All right. Let's make like five of those. We'll make some famine again. All right. We only needed three. That's fine. Okay, that one. One, two, and three. Nice. Hopefully this is a rideable one. A little Noctis bulb dog. The Noctis guys are not too bad. They actually are decently powerful. Uh, but are you rideable? Yeah, you are. How much damage do you do? We got backup here in case things go badly. He's got a little bit of a jump. Looks like he does do something with the right click. Left click is 11,000. And he does gather. Very nice. Oh, that was a zombie. I didn't even know. Didn't even realize we are hitting a zombie. Very, very cool. All right. Let's uh, stay focused on the griffin now. We're going to get this guy back. Let's go like this. All right. Stop that. Send you guys back to the oasis. There we go. All right, guys. I'll see you in just a little bit. Once we get this guy leveled up a little bit more, we already got a couple levels put on him. But we're going to try and get at least a few hundred, and then we're going to go evolve this guy. All right, guys, we had to make the Parados Potion Chest. So we got that made up now. Let's go ahead and put this over here. Kind of in a random place. Now, inside of here, there's a thing called the Frozen... There it is. The Frozen Elixir. 50 fiber, 20 rare flower, and 150 rare mushrooms. Wow. I can make one. Okay. <laughs> that is a lot. Let's go test it out real quick. So this should give the Griffin all kinds of extra levels. I'm not 100% sure how it works, but let's let's see it real quick. I know it's getting kind of dark out, but we should be able to finish this up before it gets too dark. Let's go like this and like that. Actually, let's, let's drop everything here. Let's go like this. Like that. We'll go like this. All right. That stuff should get picked up. I hope we're close enough to the AA stuff. We should get a whole bunch. There you go. 220 levels. Very nice. Hold on, it should be given a... We should have a level counter here. Level. There we go. 
There we go. Now we can see how much, how much damage we're putting in here. Let's get it close to maxed out, and then we'll throw the rest into health and speed. It doesn't really matter because we're going to evolve this guy in just a second. So let's go like this. We'll get it up over 200. There we go. 220. We'll go a little bit into health. And then we'll get some into speed. There we go. That make it a little bit better to fly around on. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and heal this guy up. And let's go test this out. Let's up our gamma just a little bit. It's not too bad. All right, let's see what we got. Should be a lot better. Now, I can't get the dive attack to work on this guy, so I'm just thinking it doesn't have it. 143, much, much better. Much better. All right, let's do this evolution. Let's do it real quick. I know we like to wait till it's daytime, but we're going to go... Uh, you know what? Actually, we will wait till it's daytime because I want to get a good picture of the before and after. All right, there we go. Got this little guy back to base. This guy's amazing. I'm, I'm actually going to name this guy. Usually, I don't name very many things. I'm definitely going to name this guy. This is going to be... I mean, obviously, he's red, right? I can't remember any of the specific Red Lantern names from the comics, but we're going to go Red Lantern. TBFG Red Lantern. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> this guy is really cool. He gives off a lot of red light, too. So there's that guy. Let's go ahead and get the Griffin. Let's go ahead and evolve the Griffin. This will be the first time getting a chance to do this. I'm really excited. If I have the supplies for it. If we don't, uh, Otto already said we could steal some of that stuff from him. So let's check it out real quick. All right. So this should be on here, right? Or is it or is it going to be over here? Should be over here. So we go on here. Elixir. No, it's going to be on the first one. We're on, we're on the right one first. So go on here and evolve. And we need, I think, two of the tokens. And it's really not too bad. It just, it just takes ten of each one of the souls for one of them. We'll make two of them. And then we go over and we put it on the griffin, which I think I parked in the middle over here. So let me get a screenshot of it first, and then we'll do the evolution together. All right, there we go. So this one got leveled up to 1523. Not, I don't think that's all the way maxed out, but it's definitely at least close. But we're going to go ahead and do this. So I think you put, is it just one ruthless token or is it two? For some reason I was thinking it was two. Let's see. And then we hit control and X. Oh, wait, I guess we should get everything off its inventory. There we go. And then we do control X. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, very cool, man. I love that. There we go. Bam, there's the new guy. Let's go ahead and see what this guy is all about. Oh, he's got like a new effect coming off of him. Look at that. Oh, let's get this guy landed. We definitely need some more light. It's just too dark. Let's go like this. Oh, no, 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 stop, dude. <laughs> there we go. I was trying to get a good look at this guy. So now this is a Ruthless, right? Ruthless Griffin 2284 is the level on this guy. Isn't that crazy? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't even know what button I just pushed. There we go. All right, let's see what kind of damage this guy is doing. Hopefully, he's going to be a lot bigger than the other one. Uh, slow for sure. We're going to need another one of those potions. So let me get the potion together, and I'll be right back. All right, so we want to go ahead and do our RG as well. We're going to do a second evolution real quick. We'll do the RG with a potion, and then I'll go ahead and evolve it, and then we'll check it out. So let's do the same thing. Let's go like that. And put the token over there. And the same thing. Control X. Bam. Very cool, man. I like the effect on these guys. It's kind of a different evolution from what I've seen in the past. Whoa. <laughs> that was kind of a weird one. All right. Oh, man, he looks good. He looks really good. Look at this guy. Look at that. Bam. Like that. All right. Let's go ahead and go. Oh, you know what we didn't do is we didn't get the saddle off this guy. So is RG saddle just made on our inventory? I always forget. Argen... Am I close enough? Yes, we are. All right, cool. Oh, wait. This this guy probably needs his own saddle, so I probably do have to go back and make another saddle, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> All right. You go ahead and follow me back. There we go. All right, let's go test out this guy and the other guy real quick and see what kind of damage they're doing. Oh, man, I just realized we didn't use the potion before we evolved it. My fault. So that would be a, just a guy that's used for looks only because we kind of forgot about that. All right, so we need the Argentavis. Abandon, Wicked, 
frozen ruthless there we go we'll get this crafted up real quick and then we'll go check it out let's see come on there we go all right let's go put this on him and then we'll test both these guys out in fact i'll do a pickup block and we'll just throw one on the shoulder and we'll switch them in and out so let's go pick up block like that all right saddle on this guy there we go oh he's got a cool saddle look at this saddle i like the look of that saddle bright bright yellow with a little bit of red in there that's that's good looking all right let's go ahead and pick this guy up okay pick up and there we go let's go and then we'll, we'll do the pickup block on this guy too even though i'm not going to pick him up just yet there we go and then we'll throw the potion on there one last thing bam all right wait for him to go ahead and level up and then we'll go ahead and do this all right what do we got just regular rhino perfect let's go ahead and test the base damage it's gonna be kind of low probably like 30,000 20,000 somewhere in there oh my fault i don't have a thing up 66 okay that's not too bad at all he's gonna have much higher ceiling we'll take it all right let's get this guy nice very very nice all right let's go ahead and get oh 297 levels look at that okay uh we need a level up counter again let me get a level up counter and then we'll get this guy all the way leveled up and kind of see what damage he's doing 81 is the level now now let's test it out and we got some good speed on there too so let's go ahead and hit it 949 oh and the dive seems to work on this guy it did not work on the last guy at least i don't think it did there we go. <laughs> Way better. Oh, we did 1.9 million on that guy. Very nice. Okay. Take all these guys out. All right. This guy is pretty legit. 836,000 and almost 1.9 million when we do the dive. That is much better. There you go. <laughs> all right. Very, very cool. So this is our first like big time face eater. Very, very nice. All right, let's go over here and kind of see what else we can take out. Oh, dang. <laughs> That's My crazy health looking. is dropping like a rock. The Tempest damage is, like, really bad. So when it comes in, if you it. can get it out, it's yep. way to do it. He looks really cool. Yeah, he's an awesome-looking boss. If I can dive bomb this guy. There he goes. Nope, missed. I don't know. Oh, I almost didn't heal. Yeah, I was <laughs> say, make sure you smash in those health potions. Yeah, that was really close. <laughs> oh, is he trying to chase you? I need you to stay up. Oh, maybe. Yep. Oh, here comes the Tempest. Watch your health. Yeah, I'm out. I gotta stay like right in the middle of it like a goop. <laughs> it said you killed a tornado. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but you should get some element from this guy. Okay. Even if you're just in proxy when somebody does one of these bosses, mm -hmm. you'll get, you should get a, uh, some drops as well. Okay, awesome. Tempest, watch out. Yep, I'm out. That's cool. My poor health. <laughs> Sucking health pots like a crazy person. Yeah, a lot. Suck like probably 15 at least. I'll let you get the killing blow on him. I'm almost there. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm just going to stay here. Yeah. Nice. All right. Oh, all kinds of stuff. Let me see what all that was. 550 element. Oh. Tempest RGB circuit board. An Ascendant Vulcan helmet. That's cool. Awesome. Some pretty pretty awesome bows and stuff. Uh, hide. Cool. I didn't get... Uh, yeah. So I didn't get any... Okay, you don't get drops for being a proxy. All right, good. That's good to know. 
Okay, you want me to split it with you? No, not at all. Dude, I've got like 15,000 elements and a bunch of... <laughs> i got some levels. All right, guys, so that was fun. That was our first boss. That was very, very unexpected. So we have these guys here. This guy reset to level one for some reason. I don't know what happened. Uh, we soul balled him up, and then all of a sudden he went to level one. And now I can't add levels. Uh, he's got no XP bar. Nothing's going on. I really, really don't know. Not really sure. Don't know if it's a pickup block thing or if it's a dino storage thing. I'm not sure. And then Griffin, his damage seems to have reset, so I'm not really sure on that either. Uh, we used the terrestrial Bronto, and I don't think that's the problem, but I just really don't know anymore. So let's go like this. There we go. And then let me just test it one more time, because you saw the damage that we were doing against the boss and just, you know, later in the episode, and now it's back down to... Let's, let's wait till this Tartar thing goes away. Bronto battle, Bronto Tartar. I'm thinking it has something to do with max melee. I'm really not sure. But it, damage, run speed, and stamina regen. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no, no, no. That was the wrong button. Glad we didn't fall off. Okay. Yeah, see, 252. We're definitely doing less than we were. I mean, it's still not bad, but it's nowhere near what it was. Unless I'm just mistaken about what it was before. Now I'm doubting myself. But, all right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Kind of a crazy all-over-the-place episode. It was a lot of recording today just for this one episode. Kind of scouting around looking for things. We leveled up the Wicked. So we got ourselves our own Wicked Spino, which is absolutely amazing and did great things today. And then we have our two Abandons that we have evolved. But I guess that'll be the focus of the episode will be the Abandons. So, all right, guys. Uh, and we did name the this guy Riot. So we got Riot the Wicked Spino, and he's absolutely awesome. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe.